Number 10. Can you imagine lending your Ferrari to an employee and learning a while later that she'd crashed your luxury sports car? I guess you'd have to be pretty rich to even imagine something like this. But anyhow, that's what happened to a generous California businessman who let his 23-year-old employee drive his Italian baby. It seems the woman got a bit excited, drove it a little too fast, as one would do so behind the wheel of a Ferrari, right? And flipped the car in a curve, causing around $125,000 in damages. She was unharmed, but it seems her boss was irate, wouldn't you say, huh? I'd say the lady's lucky her boss didn't use the insurance money to pay a hitman to get rid of her. Number 9. This lady definitely qualifies for our worst employee list, and even though her boss might also qualify for a worst boss list, if what she said was true, she would certainly make our most stupid employee list as well. This lady started trash talking about her boss on Facebook, even accusing him of sexual harassment. Problem is, she forgot her boss was a Facebook friend. He replied fairly quickly by firing her just as publicly. Number 8. A JetBlue employee who worked at JFK Airport in New York City loading bags onto planes fell asleep in the cargo space of a plane and was shipped to Boston, 200 miles away. 21-year-old Sydney nurse certainly surprised his fellow tarmac workers at Logan Airport when they opened the cargo door of the ERJ-190 aircraft and unloaded Sid with the luggage. It seems nurse woke up when flight B61004 was taxiing for takeoff at JFK, but by that time, it was too late. Number 7. 23-year-old Stephen Reed, a hotel cleaner in Scotland, wanted a day off from work. Probably because he wanted to save on sick days, Reed cut up his face with a razor and hit himself in the head and on the body with a boulder to make it look like he'd been beaten up. He even went to the police station to report the assault, you know, to make it all sound real. Finally, the masochistic idiot admitted he was lying and got a 100-pound fine for wasting police time. Later, Reed commented, saying, Looking back, I should have probably just phoned work and asked them for the day off. Number 6. One morning in 1990, assistant executive engineer A.K. Verma, who worked for the Central Public Works Department, was feeling a bit under the weather and went home, taking a sick day, and never returned. 24 years later, he was found guilty of willful absence of duty. It seems he came under investigation in 1992, but that begs the question, did it take two years before they started missing him? Anyway, formal dismissal proceedings didn't start before 2007, and it then took seven more years to finally get him fired. Urban Development Minister Venkaya Nadu did end up ordering his dismissal. Number 5. How's this for outsourcing to China? This guy named Bob hired a Chinese IT developer to do his job in his place while he earned a six-figure salary for watching cat videos and shopping on eBay all day. Bob was even getting great reviews for his amazing work. What's crazy is that somebody at the company eventually found it odd that a guy in Shenyang was logging onto their computer network every day, so they hired Andrew Valentine, who's part of the Verizon Risk team, to investigate. When the breach was traced to Bob's VPN network, the company thought he was the victim of some kind of hack. But upon further investigation, they realized their mild-mannered genius was more of a smart slacker. Number 4. Newark Airport employee Pythias Brown thought he'd supplement his income by starting his own business on eBay. Problem is, he did it with items he was allegedly stealing from checked luggage, swiping over $200,000 worth of loot. But if you're going to steal a camera from HBO worth nearly $48,000 and a camcorder from a CNN employee, maybe you shouldn't try to sell them on eBay. When police raided Brown's home, they found 66 cameras, 31 laptops, some jewelry, and other valuable items. So yeah, he was charged with theft. Number 3. You know how you often hear the expression, only in the U.S.? Like that lady that sued McDonald's because she burned herself drinking their coffee and won? Well, it seems council staff members in England have received over $100 million, or approximately 75 million pounds in the last five years, for compensation because of work-related accidents. That would be fine if they were legitimate requests, but when you hear that Lancashire County Council paid an employee 5,500 pounds, that's 8,000 US dollars, folks, for a back injury he got falling out of bed to answer a work-related call, you'd think, really? Number 2. Frenchman Frédéric Denar, who has a managerial position in a Paris-based perfume company, is suing his employer because he's suffering from bore-out, a phrase coined by the media as opposed to burnout. Denar says his work was so tedious, he was literally bored out of his mind and actually compared his descent into hell to an actual burnout. Denar is asking for the equivalent of 414,000 US dollars in compensation and damages, which includes holiday pay. The disgruntled employee complains that between 2010 and 2014, he was shelved by his employer in her perfumes, giving him little to no work or limiting him to menial tasks. Number 1. 
Talk about staying under the radar, this Spanish civil servant didn't show up for work for at least six years, and nobody seemed to notice. You know what gave him away? His work colleagues tried to give him a special award for his long service in 2010. Joaquin Garcia had been employed, with air quotes, with a water company in Candiz and was supposed to supervise the construction of a water treatment plant. Except he didn't show up for over six years, and nobody noticed due to a mix-up between the water company and the local authorities. The water company thought the local authority was managing Garcia, while the local authority thought the water company was in charge of him. Garcia got off pretty good, since he was making 37,000 euros a year, that'd be a little over 41,000 US dollars, and was only fined 27,000 euros, a little over $30,000. The 69-year-old decided to retire, or more to the point, make it official. 